Hello lovelies, today I will be sharing the ink samples I selected for this autumn season. I purchased a majority of my samples from Vanna's Pens and a few samples from Yoseka Stationery. As you guys know, I really love how they use these tiny jars that are perfect for the classic -y box. But I really wanted to try the Colorburst brand, which Yoseka didn't offer any samples of. At first I was going to use this Midori cotton pad, but I decided to use my ink swatch insert so I can have a record of the inks that I really loved and also the inks that I didn't love so much, so I won't rebuy them again. ink swatches look so different on a computer screen which is why I like to do these in natural lighting so you get a realistic swatch. This first one is Sailor Manyo Shirakashi and this one is supposed to be a warm green tone that has some brown chroma shading. As you guys know, I really love the Sailor Manyo line and any ink that has chroma shading as I feel like I'm getting a two for one bottle. Especially when using different nib sizes, the colors will vary drastically between a bolder nib and a finer nib. This second ink is Sailor Yurameko Kyokuya. And again, this is another olivey tone. What I like about the Sailor Yurameko's is that it changes drastically with the type of paper you use. So I'm curious to see how this one will look in Tomoe River paper versus Midori paper. You'll notice that I'm on the hunt for an olive toned ink as well as a sort of hay yellow ink. The next color is Sailor Yurameko Kitsun Biori and I just really wanted to try this one. It's a pretty brown that sometimes shows up pink. The next brand of swatches is Ferris Wheel Press, and you guys know that I really like their inks, especially their non-shimmer inks since they shade so beautifully. The first one is Spruce County Post, which looks exactly what the name sounds like. It's pretty much the perfect pine green color that would be perfect for Christmas time. The next color is Steeped Umber, which is a very warm brown, which almost looks orange. This one, for some reason, reminds me of camping. I think it's really pretty and warm.
This color is Oyster Hour, and it's a really nice neutral color that kind of goes with anything. It matches really well with the tan ink pad from Sha Chihata, and it's just a nice everyday color. This Madame Mulberry is very interesting. While it's wet, it almost looks a little gray, but once it dries, it turns into a beautiful dusty purple color, which I feel would go nice for the fall and winter months. The next brand of inks is Colorverse inks. This first one <laughs> looked completely different from the swatch online and it is called Methuselah Tree and part of me ordered it because of the name <laughs> given my background but it's actually a really pretty almost pomegranate red color. The next color is Soul, and this one reminds me of Brunch Date, only it's a lot warmer and leans more towards brown versus a pinky color. It's really nice. The next color looks almost like that hay straw looking color that I'm looking for and it is called String. It has a nice yellow, almost reddish brown shading to it, which is perfect for the season. This next one, I, I know I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's pronounced Tap Young Sunday. <laughs> and this one is a sort of pea green color. It kind of reminds me of baby food, but it's still nice. I, I actually like this one. The last three inks are a bit of random choices, but I really wanted to try the ink formula. And the next one is Monte Verde Olivine or Olivine. I'm not sure, but this one is just a generic, almost army green color. I, I don't really like this one, to be honest. The next one is wearing, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong again, but wearing Yule. And oh my goodness, this one is my favorite color so far. You'll see this color better in the close up, but it has this very nice chroma shading that goes from a nice golden yellow to a red and even shows some green and brown shading to it. It's really nice. And this is the color that I'm actually looking for. So I'm happy that I really love one of these. A lot of times I don't like any of the inks that I've selected. So I'm really happy with this one. 
and the final color is pen bbs showdown and this one looks a lot like autumn and auburn but i kind of like the formula better i'm gonna be honest so now i'm gonna show you these inks and this is the perfect time because there's some really bright sunlight coming through the window as well as some shade so it will give you a pretty realistic representation of these ink colors no matter what setting you're in i really like the sailor manyo shirakashi one it has like this true olive tone to it and oyster hour is really nice too it has a lot of nice shading to it madame mulberry is pretty unique to me very neat to look at methuselah tree has some shading to it but it's nothing that impresses me i'm not a huge fan of reds so i might be the wrong person to judge this color The olivine one looks a lot nicer in the sunlight, but look at the song of the reed. I'm going to try to zoom in a little more and point out the red that surrounds the edges of this swatch. And if you look closer, you can see that it's almost green, like a brownish green where the ink pools. It's really beautiful. And I can imagine how different it would look in a fine nib versus a bold nib. And this last one, the Pen BBS, it has a ton of shading, which I love. I love shading inks. So far, my favorites are Song of the Reed, Madame Mulberry, Oyster Hour, Katsun is really pretty too, um, but I actually like the Sailor Manu one a lot more. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little swatch video. I feel like getting some more ink samples for the fall, especially some browns. I feel like I found a nice warm brown and a cool brown that I really love, but I'm curious to see what other browns out there. Let me know down below which one is your favorite ink sample out of this bunch. I really love to hear your opinions and i just love chatting with you all thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one